Kid Boo Mains, you're gonna hate me for making this video. I was recently on Discord chatting with some sponsors and one of the sponsors, Schrodinger's Neko, said Oh my god, Globku, you're so great, I love you so much, but I can't escape your Kid Boo. How do you make your Kid Boo easy to block? I decided, you know what, people get caught in this Kid Boo stuff a lot, so let's explain exactly what's happening here. We're gonna go through his basic block string and the Kid Boo resets, which are so, so easy to get out of. Just have to think about it for a little bit. No one in the pro scene uses them anymore, and it's for a good reason. First thing you gotta know about Kid Boo is with any beam attack, for instance, Kamehameha. He has this true block string, which uh, there's, there's no room. You just gotta block the whole thing. If you start blocking it, you have to block the whole thing. There's no gap. You can't reflect, you can't vanish, you can't raw level 3, you just have to know how to block everything. And the block string I'm talking about is this one. So there is absolutely no gap in there. If I go here to enemy settings, you can see it's set to guard the first only, which means if there was a gap, if you were able to reflect or do anything at all, Bardock over here would start getting hit in the face. For instance, if I do it without the assist, there's a big gap and this would happen. But with a beam attack, with a beam assist, or any assist that lasts as long as a beam, this is a true block string. You cannot get out of it anywhere. And the scary thing about this block string is that it can be changed on the fly. So first of all, what's going on? Uh, Kid Boo's down special puts him in the air. So from anywhere on his block string, you can go medium, heavy, in the air, and do this. What's happening here is actually after the uh, down special, dash forward, and then what I'm doing is light, medium, heavy. Uh, you can also throw a light, medium, heavy special before you land. But even though Kid Boo is doing four attacks in the air, only two of them are actually overheads. And that is the light and the heavy. Meaning the medium and the special attacks can be blocked while crouching. Now on the medium note, uh, it's actually only the first attack of the medium. If I set Bardock to crouch block, uh, you will see that the first attack he will block but the second medium attack, you'll actually get it in the face. So the second hit of the medium attack in the air is an overhead, but the first one is not. So the, what that means is that if Kid Boo is doing this whole block string, as soon as it goes in the air, you have to stand up and block. But Kid Boo can actually mix it up and fool you. It wouldn't be the best mix up in the game if uh, this was all there was to it. Now, after Kid Boo gets in the air, he can go to a single overhead into a low right away, he can throw a dragon rush as soon as he lands, or if you're Sonic Fox, after the air dash, you throw a heavy, which whiffs, and go into a low. This looks like you're gonna be attacked from, from the air, and actually you just go into a low right away. And like I said, true block string. There's nothing you can do here. Now, of course, the timing has to be impeccable for the, the Goku assist. So while you're blocking, you can just spam reflect. And if it comes off, it comes off. If it doesn't come off, I guess you just keep blocking. So I'm gonna spam reflect here. I got caught. Let's spam reflect again. Spamming reflect didn't come off. It's fine. Still blocking still in the block string Just got to watch out for those early lows If uh, Kid Boo decides not to throw the three overheads and gotta watch out for those dragon rushes It's a very very hard mix-up for sure. Like don't take me wrong. It's hard to block this whole thing uh, But uh, after you know the tricks, you know what to expect of course with an assist It can be hard to see if he's gonna go for the whole overhead combo or if he's gonna go for low But that's Kid Boo and uh, there are a few other characters that can do stuff like this actually. It's not unique to Kid Buu, but that is one heck of a block string right there. That is still very much used uh, competitively, even in tournaments. What's not used anymore is the reset. Now, the reset I'm talking about is after you do a full combo, Kid Buu would do something like this. This is incredibly easy to avoid. Incredibly easy. Kid Buu can also go into the triple overhead we just talked about. Yep. Dragon Rush. This looks like a nightmare. And if the enemy takes up after uh, going down to the ground, Kid Buu can just bring him back by doing this whole thing and now you're back in the goddamn block string. Yeah, it's a nightmare. But this isn't used anymore in uh, competitive. And Neko, I bet you're gonna feel real dumb when you find out what the solution is for all this. And to be honest, that's the whole reason why I made this video. To make you feel real, real dumb. So after Kid Buu does the spin move, which I'm just gonna call the Sonic spin. It looks like Sonic spinning. So that's the Sonic spin from now on. After Kid Buu does that whole thing, there's a gap. And if there's a gap, it means you can reflect, you can roll level 3, 
you can do a ton of stuff. Now, the problem with Reflect is that it works if Kid Buu is throwing a heavy attack, but it doesn't really work if Kid Buu is throwing a light after the reset. Because if he throws a light, the medium will still catch you. Of course, you can Reflect multiple times, but there, it's very risky because the medium attack has this insane range. Thing is, if he throws a light attack, you can just down heavy. Now, this is kind of a risky move because if Kid Buu throws the heavy attack, you'll get caught. You can't down heavy when he throws the heavy attack after the reset. But if uh, you're playing against a Kid Buu that likes to be tricky, I bet he won't throw the heavy attack. He's gonna throw that light medium heavy just to throw a bunch of overheads and open you up again. Now, there's also time for a vanish, but I would also not recommend the vanish because uh, the timing is kind of tight. And if you miss it, like I did just now, uh, you're gonna get caught. It's a bit easier if he throws the light. There's a bigger gap there. But again, very risky move. So what would my advice be? Well, down heavy if he's throwing the lights, obviously, but you can't really know that. But there is a solution that counters every single reset option. Stay on the ground. Just delayed stand up. Kid Bulls won't know what to do. That's it. As simple as that. Just stay on the ground and the reset is over. They need to start over, they need to do another block string. They probably already used their assists for opening you up in the previous combo. And Kid Buu on his own, his block strings are actually, they're safe, but he can't keep the pressure for too long. If you see a Kid Buu without assists going into the air, just down heavy. If he's doing the sonic spin, down heavy. If he's going into the air with this thing, down heavy. If he doesn't have assists, he'll get punished for that. That is, of course, if he's staying in your face. Because if he does something like this and backlashes, you actually can't really catch him. So those moves are safe, but that means you can also reverse the rolls, right? It means if a Kid Buu is gonna press a button after the Sonic Spin, you're gonna catch him with a down heavy. So without assists, Kid Buu can't really keep the pressure up for too long. Not in a way that's safe, at least. And actually, if uh, just the late stand-up, if that's getting too predictable, if the opponent is starting to read that, there's actually another option you can do. This one's kind of stupid. But remember how I told you that if you up tech after the reset, Kid Buu can bring you back to the ground? Well, that only happens if you're blocking. Because if you up tech and then you let yourself get hit, it's a very, very hard hit confirm for Kid Buu. And he misses everything else. The hit confirm is basically the light. No one has that kind of reaction. No one reacts to Kid Buu's light with a down heavy. It is possible. If you know the opponent is not gonna block, I mean, you can go light down heavy, I guess, but then you don't even have your super dash anymore. I guess he could go into a vanish combo and that's pretty much it. It's tough to react to a, an opponent that is not going to block after an uptech. So that would be my advice. To counter the Kid Buu reset, just stay on the ground or uptech and let yourself get hit. Because hit confirming off that light is insanely hard. And hey, if he does do it, at least he left the corner and the Kid Buu nightmare is now over. Now, of course, professional players are now working on other types of Kid Buu resets, but I'm not gonna get into that because I actually haven't mastered them myself. Still figuring it out. And I think everyone's still figuring them out. The, the, everyone's using sort of a different approach. Some people are letting the character go to the ground, using one of these to get in the air and then try to reset that way. One of my personal favorites is one where you call an assist and command grab. I really like that one, but that doesn't give you a hard knockdown afterwards, so you have to get creative. But yeah, still figuring out what the next step for Kid Buu resets is. For now, this one is outdated. No professional players use it, except for Dogura. And that's why he didn't make it very far in the Summit of Power. But it's now super easy to survive Kid Buu's reset. What's not super easy to survive is that insane block string, but I don't think that's going to go away anytime soon. That's going to be one of Kid Buu's strengths for the entire lifetime of Dragon Ball Fighters. Anyway, that was the video. Uh, it was a suggestion from sponsors, and I'd like to take this chance to say that we really, really need more sponsors to keep this channel going. If you like this channel, I bet you guys are going to love what we do behind the scenes. Become a sponsor now. There's a link in the description down below, and then you can join Discord. Also, link in the description down below. We have exclusive live streams. We have a weekly show where you can ask me any questions and we play games all the time including tournaments on dragon ball fighters that we put together so go ahead and become a sponsor join the family i am very much looking forward to see you guys there and in all seriousness this channel cannot go on unless we get a lot more sponsors the money is coming directly to us and we're putting it directly into the channel your money will be put to good use i personally guarantee that. And our last tutorial video was on defense. How to achieve the perfect defense. Check out that video right here. If you're in the mood for something else, there's also the video at the bottom. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Glovku and I'll see you guys next time. Boy.